So here are the two first restored or semi-restored delays, the gray with the original paint here in front and the green at the rear. And the third one will be covered later. These two are hand scraped. Whether hand scraped or as the third one is bike scraped, doesn't matter. Uh, they should all be of equal performance. Uh, the gray or original paint here in front wasn't really that much worn, while the others were the, the gray one quite worn, the, the green one very worn. Starting with the saddle here, uh, it was uh, not much worn. Uh, there was some wear on the um, uh, guidance surfaces, the vertical ones, but the horizontal surfaces were hardly worn at all. So the work on the saddle on this one didn't pose any problems. The only work was really to align it so that it uh, is in line with the spindle. I didn't do anything to the top slide. It functions okay. As you can see, it's a little bit chewed up at the front, but anyway, functions according to specs. The wear on the compound, these three lathes were really minimal, but uh, then again, were chewed up at the front. The cross slide on all three uh, lathes are, uh, of course, then aligned and scraped and on top ground. I didn't replace the screw and nut on the cross slide here, and I seem to detect some wear on some parts of the travel, even though I couldn't prove it in this video. Anyway, I set it up with minimal backlash and it seems to function so okay. At the time of restoration here, I didn't have uh, enough spares to replace all bushings on the three lathes. So on this one, I just split it, glued it and split it. That functions and will extend the lifetime of this. Uh, I didn't have to do anything with the tailstock really. And the lead screw also okay. And also the same goes for the nut and the bushing set aside. Banjo and gear train okay. Only partial setup of gears. I also replaced the, the countershaft, which is the most uh, worn item in that uh, system, also reported by others. Back gear system okay, no teeth broken, oilers also okay. Polished the chuck. I did have to remove the rotating switch because this was not functioning properly, and I am now using only the on-off switch, of course. Initial testing at the uh, highest speed. I would claim that this runs uh, smooth and uh, quiet and uh, no vib discernible vibration. The back gear system shall also be tested and functions okay and just uh, wanting to prove it with the feed now so you hear it. A little bit more noisy then. All in all, maybe good for another 50 to 60 years or more. Okay, over to the green machine, the worst in class. And uh, what did I do here? How did I do it? And how does it perform? This functions as well as the other one over there, but it required a lot more work. Starting with what is not done here. And what really should be done. Namely, for instance, this tailstock uh, barrel or the screw on the end there. This is rather loose, the nut here, so this slack would need to be improved. To fix this, you need to replace the handbill and the integral nut, maybe also the barrel. So this is something the new owner may want to do. Since I have a 5 8 Acme tap, I re-threaded the Bronx nut here. Um, now then the lever, the engagement level, will be at the very uh, furthest reach. So you may have to replace this nut also. It functions as it is now, but it's the end of the let's say, uh, adjustment. The original chuck is uh, functioning okay, but probably quite worn and uh, should probably also be replaced. Back here. Here is also okay, and uh, the spindle here is a little bit worn, so I didn't scrape the bearings uh, there, I just left it alone. It seems to function okay within specs. The only fix for a worn spindle is, of course, to replace it uh, to go with the new set of bronze bearings, 
which is a quite costly affair. So I wasn't up to do this on this, uh, which was just for a sale on this local uh, club meeting anyway, just to point out to the new owner what uh, is wrong. Possibly a candidate for also upgrading to a um, ball bearing spindle if um, wanted. Uh, the oilers here, they are uh, also worn. I uh, fixed the front one with the paper strip that has now uh, let's say uh, soaked up the the oil and then is tight but uh, the but both should preferably be replaced as mentioned uh, on the, these three lathes i replaced the counter shaft on this specimen i also then uh, used a hardened 19 millimeter shaft i had missing some small parts on the pulley uh, cover and then uh, the entire pulley cover for the big pulley from the motor gear train banjo okay just the gears that it came with a new motor i fitted a half force three phase motor while when it came to me it had a 1.1 kilowatt one phase which i consider way too powerful for such a small lathe as I said uh, previously, the most common error on these machines, uh, in my eyes, and also according to some other, um, like Barry Midgley, I think, from Australia, has replaced the counter shaft here many times, that this is uh, worn and wears uh, faster than the bushings itself. So this has been replaced here with a hardened shaft. This has been converted at an earlier stage to a metric uh, screw nut. And it's set up quite nicely and the uh, functions okay and no backlash at all. So I'm pretty happy with that. The top of the cross slide is uh, ground, while the underside is of course then scraped and aligned. Same with the saddle to the best of my ability. Uh, in addition, I milled the pockets on the other side of the saddle and then fitted a rulon wayliner material, which is also scraped. I had to replace the way wipers on both ways. Uh, that is, of course, a lifesaver, so an absolute necessity to do. Uh, I also introduced a way wiper for the tailstock on the third lathe just to show. Could possibly have replaced the bushing, the bearings at the front there. Uh, this rear is okay, but the right one there is a little bit worn. So probably also a job for the new owner, press out the bushings, uh, I mean remove everything, press out the bushings and then replace. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as we, as I've done now, I've uh, limited the travel X, uh, or lengthwise, taken up the slack there. Also running smooth and quietly, I think, because of the pulley system here, the top speed is 11.75 IPM. And then the last of the three, this is a biax scraped specimen, while the other ones were hand scraped. The paint scheme on this one was uh, particularly bad, so I repainted uh, some parts. The motor on this one uh, is probably not the best, so at least it did not take uh, easy on being su supplied by uh, or from a VFT, a China VFT. So, but directly from three phase, it uh, it performed okay. So I left it as is, just informed the owner, the new owner. Uh, the counter shaft was fully toast here, so this had to be replaced. Oilers on this one were also okay. Gears and banjo as well. I did re-scrape the bearings here, the spindle bearings, so these are now also okay. As for the others, I left the top slide alone here. It was okay, all out chewed up in front. Uh, cross slide uh, is ground on top and scraped under, aligned, and then of course uh, <coughs> the cross slide also had a nick in the front, but it doesn't uh, take away from the functionality. Uh, I'm uh, having to mount the screw and not here, but uh, those are also metric and new. Um, apron with the lead screw and the clasp is okay uh, the added hand wheel here will of course improve the functionality for longitudinal feed manually bushings also okay tailstock scraped and aligned and okay 